Good morning, everybody. Good morning, and uh, welcome all to Orlando and our uh, sharing of some exciting products. And I'm sorry if I'm getting in the way because I know that's why you guys came, and I've been told to get away from everyone's shot. So we understand that it is a true honor to be able to share what has been such a talked about product. We're absolutely honored that you are all here. So without further ado, based on the 30th anniversary of the Ninja and here in North America for the very first time, allow me to formally present the Kawasaki Ninja H2R, built beyond belief. And this is truly, we believe, the first supercharged super sport motorcycle for the ultimate closed course experience. And in order to capture action photography of a bike of this magnitude, uh, we took it to one of the coolest places I could think in the United States, a facility designed to launch spacecraft. Spacecraft, you obviously could get the analogy. We went to Sir Richard Branson's Virgin Galactic Spaceport in New Mexico, which was in that video that you saw. We felt quite fitting. So the question is, why did Kawasaki build the H2? Well, simply to offer riders an intense acceleration that they never have experienced before, truly. And the result, uh, we truly think, you'll agree, is the first true hyperbike. So this project could only be realized through an amazing collection of strength within Kawasaki Heavy Industries. It involved the, obviously, the motorcycle and engine company for the original concept and execution. And then, which really is cool, the other companies that jumped in within Kawasaki. The gas turbine machinery company the corporate technology division for their contribution to truly an amazing supercharger. <laughs> it's got a supercharger. And the aerospace company, yeah, that's right, the aerospace company, how many bike companies can say that, for the aerodynamic elements of the bike. It's very cool. And this collaboration to create a state-of-the-art product is truly for the first modern motorcycle deemed worthy enough to carry Kawasaki Heavy Industries' original branding, which is that Symbol up there and right on the front of the bike, it's a high honor to put that on any product at Kawasaki. It's the river mark. It's a stylized kanji symbol dating back to our company's founding in 1870s. So the Ninja H2R is meticulously crafted with a premium quality build as you've certainly seen and you saw those teasers online. And it's superb fit and finish that you'll notice when you get up and close, even down to its cool, high-tech mirror-coated black paint which is very, very sweet. So we should also point out that the design of the H2R was also purely functional. That's what really matters at the end of the day. It's more than just something that's for show. Each piece of the bodywork was aerodynamically sculpted to have deep, high ultra speed stability. So it's form and function, the intersection of art and technology, actually. And the Ninja H2R is a technological marvel. I mean, honestly, I'm gonna stop for a quick second it is truly amazing this bike actually exists. So again, we're very honored and proud. I mean, we've just been soaking it in ourselves that it actually exists. So delivering performance that truly many thought was impossible. Case in point, 300 horsepower, that's right, 300 horsepower, inline four cylinder, 998 cc engine, highly efficient motorcycle specific supercharger, high tensile steel trellis frame, premium Brembo brakes, single sided swing arm, and of course, the wind, excuse me, the wind tunnel sculpted carbon fiber bodywork, which is really, really sweet, truly. So the Ninja H2R name also is pretty cool. It's got two factors going for it. One, the name Ninja, which y'all has been uh, realize it's synonymous with legendary performance models, of course, ZX14R, 10R, it goes on and on, long lineage of high performance, powerful track capable and technologically superior bikes. And then the other part, which is really cool for the history of the brand, is the name and tribute to the original king of the streets, the classic 1972 H2. And some of you re may recall out there the intense acceleration that that bike had, and it's burnt in your memories, and we really feel that this bike is going to do the same for the current riders. So using a supercharged engine, again, it's fun to say that, with a maximum power of output of approximately 300 horsepower, it's fun to say that, and really, Kawasaki is now able to provide the kind of intense acceleration, top speed circuit handling that no rider has ever experienced from a performance bike. And of course, that's closed circuit. 
And then the thrilling ride of the H2 is truly unique with sensations and sounds. Again, the sound is, is amazing. It's truly a memorable experience. So that is what the brand is about, creating memorable experiences. Again, at the end of the day, why do you ride? For the feeling and the memory. And then what's is really fun, the street legal H2 will be released at ICMA and will be sold through the Kawasaki dealer network, so it's for real. And all the details that you've been waiting for, and I know you all have been patient for that, will be provided at the ICMA show on November 4th. Well, wrapping up here, the world's first and most powerful hyperbike, the supercharged Kawasaki Ninja H2R. We believe it's built beyond belief. Thank you.